this is our final day on the Grand Union and just there is the M1 but I don't know whether you can make out in the trees the southbound is at a standstill or it's just started to move very slowly oh the joys of motorway life it's just creeping there look so that's the M1 running alongside the canal lovely day today very cold crisp very autumnal in the air and tomorrow is going to be a complete and utter washout heavy rains high winds so we've decided we'd move on today and we should be at or in Crick location by this evening Beautiful kingfish has just flown down. I don't know that picked it up. That the kingfisher is just to the left, just slowing by to think catch her. Beautiful kingfisher. I hope I caught it. And again, how strange. I got the M1 to the right of me and a mainline train to the left. And yet there's kingfishers darting about between the two. I'm walking down to set the locks. And that's how close the railway line runs to the marina. M1 is just there. Shall we pick up your diesel, pump out coal and gas at Wilton Marina? It's got a very good chandlery there. We've used it quite a few times. And there we are, lock number 13, the bottom lock. This is bottom lock. And this building was the old spotted cow. It was built in 1811 with a storeroom, hay and straw barns, stabling for 20 horses and a butcher's shop. In 1834 it was licensed to sell beer and became the spotted cow. Sadly the spotted cow also held inquests into the death of five people over the years that had lost their lives through drowning in the canal. The youngest to lose their life was only five years old. At the other end of the lock lived the blacksmith Sam Tomlinson and his wife. While Sam shod the boatman's horses, his wife made shirts and bonnets for the boaters too. These could be ordered on one trip and collected on the next. Lock 12 on this flight, so this is the second flight, the second lock of the day. Just look at the size of that sail. Don't want to get caught up in that. Well, this is lock 12. 
and if you just go through here there's the entrance to Wilton Locks there's also Wilton Marina there is a garden centre just there and also Bedazzled is here it's just through there, it's that building actually in front of me I'm going to go back to get the boat through I think we're supposed to be stopping here at Bedazzled that's where you get all your LED lights from Block nine on the flight. Block eight on the flight. Right. It's a wonderful little shot by Lock 8. Really is well worth a visit. Amazing Aladdin's Cave. Just look at this. Fabulous. Look, all the bridge plaques. Beautiful. Proper Aladdin's cave. Well worth a visit. Right, this is coming under the road. There's the pub here, the new inn. And this is Bridge 11. It seems quite strange to have it. It's the closer distance between the cars and the boaters. Well, we've just left block number seven. And we've also topped up the water there and emptied our rubbish as well. So this is now the final stretch. Along this stretch are 48 hour moorings only coming up from the lock. times we came down here we came through the bridge on the left and tried to turn left there and ended up because of the wind stuck right across so 
Launceston that way and Crick this way. There's no boats coming. So that part of the Grand Union, um, all done now, all done. We had some um, help in the locks, we, had, we were locking with somebody else today, so that was quite nice. And uh, we topped up the water and did everything, and now we're on the, um, the Lester Arm. It was a lot easier approaching it from this side, wasn't it? Yeah, just Con a bit. Considering the last time we did it, <laughs> coming from Braunston. Yeah, it's a bit of a tight turn. Yeah, very tight turn. So now we're back on familiar ground here. And we're heading up to... We're going through... Well, we've got... We've got well, to be fair, we've only been up and down this section. Once above the locks, we've done a few times because we took friends out and found me out when we were in Creek Marina. We went through the tunnel down to the top of the locks, span around and went back again but this particular section this is the second time we've been up here. Yeah. But still we've done it before so I yeah. would say we've done this bit before whereas the Grand Union um, never done that before so that's another tick in the box. So we've got um, Watford Watford locks to go. No uh, not Watford. Is it not Watford? What's Sorry. It? Yeah Watford. Sorry. See it is Watford. Watford flight coming up next. Then after that, it's Crick Tunnel. Um, we're moving today. One of the reasons why we're moving today, when it's, it's quite a nice day, the wind's only just starting to get up, because tomorrow is going to be a total washout, I believe. Uh, we thought... Um, yeah, it's a non-moving day tomorrow. Non-moving days. So we thought we'd get up here, um, and I can go into Crick and get some supplies. And we can go and meet a few people we haven't seen in a bit. And then we can sort ourselves out before we head up to Yelvatov. We've had a nice fly pass today with some kingfishers when we sat off this morning. And we've had swifts and swallows as well. We've only had a couple of the locks coming up from um, past Walton Marina. Was a couple of pounds were low, weren't they? But overall, I mean, they're locked off at the moment in the evening. Restrictions, the 10 flights. Till 3, I think it is. Ten to three, but I'll put up. No, it's probably not three o'clock, so you'll be out by five. Maybe this one's going to be the same up here as well. We shall see. We're going to four o'clock. But there's normally lockers on this this particular section. We're going to go on next, so that should be fine. And we'll actually get some um, pinged as well. We will get pinged because we haven't been pinged at all since we left. Well, um, I don't think we have. No, uh, only, only in, on the Thames, I think, as far as we were aware. Well, if we came off of Brentford, yeah. in the Thames lock, we pinged us there. Yeah, it took our over there. Two, two weeks in Portland. No, 15, 15 days. days. 15 days. So we've done our mileage anyway this year, so it's not really an yeah. issue. Yeah. So, Watford locks. So the saying goes, Red before white, white and, and you'll be all right. White before red, and you'll, you'll end up dead. So, just have to remember to go red first.
another section of the famous Roman Road of Watling Street we're going under again. I think we've been underneath it four times. Well, that's four times in the past 24 hours. Yeah. So the, the road continues to be straight and the canal is all over the place. No, the canal goes with the contours, doesn't it? Yeah. And so you've got two uh, blocks there. Yeah. Lots of markings on the ceiling, so obviously got to do some major repairs up here. Yeah, all markings, so that's their little. This is going to be. Um, yeah. Looks like they've used um, green concrete. Is green concrete stronger than normal. I, I don't, don't know. know, but that's Watling Street again. obviously the original route and this is the, uh, the newer railway line. is Watford Locks and I've got to go up and get us booked in for the flight as it says what do. that's us booked in now I've got to walk all the way down the bottom and we wait in line to bring us up noise you can hear to my left is the motorway and it's the Watford Gap service station. Uh, this is us walking the boats up as uh, we're now second in line. We were fourth. So as the boats go through, because there's no traffic coming down, just checked. So it really is a, just a case of waiting for each boat to go through and then drop the lock back down so we can enter. And that's the boat in front of us going into the lock so we're the next one to go in. There's a water point here at the bottom and a water point at the top. Just leaving so now we can start dropping the lot to let ourselves in. Started the flight proper or the staircase proper, and that's the red paddle, and that's the white paddle. 
So red before, white, you'll be all right. coming down from the top and we're just saving this lock so how they do it is they just bring that one down open the gate yeah and then we can come through please thank you the Watford flight done. Big thank you to the volunteer lockers. We make it so easy and it's beautifully kept up. The flowers are gorgeous too. One of my favourite uh, flights on the canals. We have also reached the summit of the Grand Union Canal. A total height of 412 feet we've climbed since we started. And that's it. No more locks for 20 miles. I hope the camera can pick this up. This is Swift's diving, taking a drink of water. Look how gorgeous this scenery is. Well our cruising today started at 9 o'clock this morning and it's now 3.30 in the afternoon so that's taken us six and a half hours to cruise from Weedon to Crick. Thanks for watching. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and ring the little bell for notifications when new videos are put up.
see you next time.